Jesus. This is your HID one. This is the HID two uh, uh, second phase is for HID two. And I believe that for all I've learned, previous one, just to translate it to this with the tactics so that you can be able to comply with what you are not doing in this semester. And I believe as time goes on, you will enjoy it. So the the, uh, the facilitators, <coughs> the facilitator for this uh, session is uh, Sister Dupe and Auntie Anu. We will take you through. So you are mostly welcome. Thank you very much. This is the big making class. So just to remind you of what you did in the last introduction and the one as regards it. Remember, we talked about bead, that bead um, is a decorative object that comes in different shapes and sizes. And um, we also talk about that uh, it's, you can also attach beads to your garment. Beads can be stringed together to make a necklace, like that. And we talked about uh, materials in bead making. We talked about uh, uh, the bead itself. We talked about the monofilament. You still remember your monofilament? We said monofilament comes in different sizes. Remember that your bead also comes in different shapes and sizes. And um, you also remember that this materials also we have um, our hearing tool. We said we have our hearing tool. We have a um, divider. We have a hook, it can be a single way hook, it can be a multi way hook. We talked about a um, uh, neck stand, like that. If you can still remember, you can refer back to your notes. You will see all those things there. Um, remember, we talked about, about the types of um, beads that we have the crystal bead, the pearl bead. Remember the functions of bead that we talk about. We said it functions as a decorative object. We said it is used as a protective uh, protection purposes, as a personal ornament, etc. Okay, so we are not going to go deep into all this one again this time around. We just want to continue with our practical since you already have the notes with you. So you go back to your notes and go through it. Then, the practical is the main thing that we want to do this morning. So, you listen attentively and watch closely in order for you to get every bit of what we want to say, what we want to make in today's class. You're welcome back. So, we... The practical for today for this class is we have a beaded ball. We have a ball of 12. We making beaded ball, ball of 12, Abuja connection, Caribbean, underboss with brooch. That is a um, multi layers, underboss with brooch, then four way spiral. So those are the um, practicals that we want to do today. So, to start with, we are going to start with um, Abuja Connection. I know Abuja Connection, most of us would have heard of Abuja Connection in one way or the other. So, it is a type of, it is a style on its own. And the materials for this style will, is a size 6 bead. We all know what size 6 bead is. And um, we have our size 6 bead, size 2 sand bead. This is size 6 bead. We are going to make use of um, size 2 sand bead. Um, we are going to make use of our monofilament, uh, monofilament size 3.0, that is point 30. We are going to make use of a size 30.30 30 as a fishing as a monofilament or fishing line. 
We are going to make use of our needle. Needle. We are going to make use of our needle. And um, we are going to make use of our hook. Then we we'll place it on our next stand. So to start with this, the tool that we are going to make use of is our cutter. We have the cutter. We all know what a cutter is. It is used to cut monofilament. For the tool, this is the only tool that we have that we are going to use for this particular style. So, now, this is my monofilament. This is my monofilament. You cut your monofilament to the desired um, how you can control your monofilament. You cut it in such a way that you, you will be able to control it. It will not be too long nor too short. It must be what you can control. This is what I can control. You can see it. And um, this is my needle. You can see this is my needle. So, how do I insert this monofilament into my needle? You are going to use, you are going to flatten the tip of your monofilament. Why do we have to flatten the tip of the monofilament? We want to flatten the tip of the monofilament in order for it to enter freely into the eye of the needle. We are going to flatten the tip of the monofilament for it to enter freely into the eye of the needle. And look at the way I flatten mine. You use the tip of your teeth, your teeth to flatten the tip. You can, without the tip, you can also make use of your tool as well to flatten. You just press it against it. You press. If you have your flat nose with you, you all remember your flat nose, you use it to press. You can press the tip of your monofilament with it. And you can also use your teeth to flatten the tip of your monofilament. Now, the tip of my monofilament is flattened. Now, I'm inserting it into the eye of the needle. Yes, it has been inserted. You can see it entered freely. I wasn't struggling with it. So, this is it. So, I will go ahead, you have your plate with you, I will cut my size 6 sand bead. I will pour it into my plate. Then when you look at the monofilament that I'm holding, a tip, the end of the monofilament, there is no needle there. And the other end, there is needle. The other end where there is no needle, you are going to insert size 6, one size 6 bead, one size 2 sand bead, another size 6, one size 2 sand bead, another size 6, then one size two sand bead. As you can see, I have three size six bead and three size sand bead, size two sand bead inserted. As you can see, all together I have six beads in it. Then you tie. Look at the way I'm tying mine. You tie it, you tie, I tied mine three times, look at what it gave me, can you see, it formed a circle, can you see, so I have my side size, um, my sand bead, my size two sand bead in between the size six. I have them in between the size six. 
That is why you can see the indication of color. The sand bead is in yellow color, while the size 6 is in red color. The next thing is to cut off a little the excesses that we have in the monofilament. Then, here I want to make use of my needle now. After tying it at the bottom, at the other tip, can you see? Then I have my needle on the other side of the same monofilament. Then, the next one is to pick size my sand beef. You pick five sand beads. Five sand beads. When you pick the five sand beads, you insert it into the next sand bead in between the first one. When you pick five sand beads, you insert it into the next sand bead. You pick five sand beads, insert it into the next sand bead. I will pick another five sand beads and insert it again into the next sand bead. I will pick another five sand beads. and insert it into the next sand bead. If you look at it, I've repeated the same uh, procedure thrice. That is the procedure of picking five beads, five sand beads, inserting it into the next sand bead on the already made circle. circle. The, that is the first, the base of this um, style, of this design. So, I repeated that procedure three times. Now, after inserting to the last sand bead, you will now pass through three beads. You pass through what? Three beads. You pass through three sand beads. You pass through three sand beads. After passing through three sand beads, the next stage, you pick your size six. This is my size six. You pick your size six bead. After picking your size six bead, then you will count your bead one. You count your sand bead one, two, three, four. Five, you will insert your uh, monofilament in the sixth sand bead. You will insert your monofilament into the sixth sand bead. I will repeat that again. After you must have passed through three sand beads. You will pick size 6. After picking size 6, you will now count 1. You will now count 5 sand beads. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then you will now insert it. Your, you will insert your monofilament into the 6th sand bead. You will insert your monofilament into the 6th sand bead. Then you pick another one. You count the same thing. One, two, three, four, five. Then you insert it into the sixth sand bead. Then you pick another size 6, you repeat the same thing, then you insert it into the 6th sand 
beach. Then to continue, you will pick five, another five size two sandwich and insert it into the next sandwich. You pick five beads again, insert it into the next sandwich. You pick five beads, another five beads, insert it into the next sandwich. Then, after inserting it, after it must have gone round, you will count your sand beat. One, two. You count your sand beat. One, two. Then you insert it into the third sand beat. You pick your size six. Sorry, you pick your size six, then count your sand beat. One, two. And insert it into the third one. Then you pick your sand bead, I mean your size 6 bead again. You put it, you insert your monofilament into the 6th bead. You pick your size 6 again, insert it into the 6th bead, that is the 6th sand bead. So this is how you continue with your Abuja connection till it gets to your desired um, neck um, size till it gets to the desired length let me make and let me do another stage the same procedure of picking five sand beads you pass through you pass through the next sand bead pick another five sand beads You will repeat the same procedure over and over again till it gets to your desired length. You insert into the next sand bead. So, the same procedure, you pick your size 6 again, insert it into the 6th sand bead, pick another size 6, insert it into the 6th six, sand bead, another size 6, insert it into the 6th sand bead. So this is how you continue with your Abuja connection till it gets to your desired neck size. And 
this is how you continue and you have this this is the design I just taught you so this is it so this is what we call Abuja connection then I will place it on my neck stand I will place it on my neck stand So this is it. This is what we call Abuja connection. When you have gotten to your desired length next time, next size, you insert your hook. You insert your hook in order for it to stay on the neck. This is your hook. Can you see that? 